Let's talk about the season six finale of The Walking Dead. Let me first start off by saying I'm incredibly disappointed, but there were some good things about the episode. Um, first and foremost, um, I'm going to go into spoilers for c the comic book and the episode. So if you don't want spoilers, click out now. So this was the big introduction for Negan. The villain in the comic book who is like the ultimate villain. I mean, more so than the governor. I mean, he makes the governor look like a peon. And he lasts for much longer. I don't, I don't know how he ends up in the comic book, but I know that he lasts a good 50 episodes, maybe more. So, okay. So this was his introduction. His introduction is infamous among comic book readers. The moment he's introduced... In uh, issue 100, he comes on the scene with his baseball bat, Lucille, and he smashes the head of Glenn. And this is a big thing because Glenn is a fan favorite in the comic book. I mean, you could say he is too in the show, but not to the degree that he was in the comic book. In the comic book, Glenn was more like Daryl is on the show. Big big fan base. So Negan comes on the scene and just whacks the crap out of him, kills him right there in front of everybody, and it shocks everybody. So this was supposed to be that episode. And instead of doing it, they switch to a PV, POV, and Negan brings down the bat. And then you hear the screams of our group, you hear the screams of all of them, and it's terrifying. But then it just cuts to black. So you don't know who got Lucille to the face. And we will have to wait to find out till October. I don't mind cliffhangers. I realize that sometimes you have to throw in a cliffhanger. But this was not the scene. They should have, they should have just let the scene play out to its entirety. Should have let it go out to its fruition. They should have just let it go... Because this was the episode. This was like, if you watch Game of Thrones, this was supposed to be The Walking Dead's Red Wedding. It was supposed to be that one episode that just shook fans to the core. And it did that, but in the wrong way. There are going to be people who will stop watching this show because they did that. It was just a huge tease. And nobody likes it. Nobody. The comic readers especially don't like it, because this is supposed to be the moment, and they didn't carry it out. Now, as for the good parts of the episode, I liked that Morgan had to break his code in order to save Carol. He shot a saver dead, and I liked that, because that really developed his character. He had to do what he said he would never do. I like that. Another part, Eugene. I'm a big fan of Eugene. He's hilarious. He's got a heart of gold. He steps up and he drives the RV away in order to attract the saviors to him. He basically has his hero moment. He attracts attention on himself to save his friends. And that, that was great. That was epic. Uh, I know at least one person who cried during that scene. Not me, but you know, it was touching. But yeah, that was great. The whole episode was great. And it would have been epic if they would have just played that scene out instead of giving a cliffhanger. And I know why they did it. Money. Moolah. That's all it is. They want people to come back for episode one of season seven. They want viewers to come back to see who Negan killed. That's all it is. They know that people are going to come back just for that. So their ratings are going to go through the roof as soon as episode 1 of season 7 airs. But I don't know. It might have the opposite effect. The viewership might go down because they pulled that. Everybody is heating up the internet. Because they hate it. I'm not one who's going to stop watching, okay? I, I love the show. 
I love the characters. I can't just stop watching. So, I won't. Even though I am incredibly pissed. Uh, White Bread did watch this with me. But, uh, he's got college in the morning. So, he's not going to be doing any review, I don't think. Anyways, I'll go ahead and cut it off. So, tell me what you thought. I'm sure you're just as pissed as I am. This has been Late Night Reviews with White Bread and the Mole. But, well, with just the mole this time, because White Bread is, you know, going to bed. <sighs> Au revoir.